Hey guys, it's Ryan again, and welcome to the second episode of WMB Productions. And this is a little different from our last Christmas episode. In this episode, I am going to teach you how to establish a direct modem connection to connect to Xbox Live. This is a frequently asked question on YouTube, and there are actually hundreds of videos devoted to this exact topic, but I realize some are less informative than others, so I'm going to do my best to make this one as informative as possible. Okay, and for this connection, there are basically three main elements. Alright, the first, and probably the most obvious, is the actual Xbox 360, which you will play your Xbox Live on. And the second element of this direct modem connection is, as it says in the name, the modem. Now, some of you may be wondering, does the type of modem matter? The answer is no. The type of modem does not matter. However, what you must have in your modem is an Ethernet port. Now, what this is, for those of you who aren't technologically savvy, is a port in the back of your modem that allows you to plug in an Ethernet wire which transfers internet connection to your Xbox. Now, what this means when you use a modem connection is that you're, you are using all of your internet to connect to Xbox Live. Now with a wireless router, that is when you can have multiple internet sources so you can either be on the computer or an Xbox Live. Okay, moving on. So, the third <coughs> excuse me, element of this video is going to be the Ethernet wire, which is included with your Xbox 360. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that for you to show you what it looks like. It's got a uh, little plastic gray piece in the end here. Okay, moving on. One thing you're going to have to think about before you even start this process is the location of your Xbox versus your computer. And the reason I say this is because the Ethernet wire that they provide you, as you can see, is not really that long. So if your computer is in another room, you might want to consider investing in a wireless router or the Xbox 360 wireless adapter which can be purchased for around $100. And so, to continue, what you're going to need to do is take one end of your Ethernet wire and you're going to place this end that you've chosen into the modem Ethernet port, which you sh will find in the back of your modem. So we're going to connect it to the back of the modem, like so. You should hear somewhat of a click telling you that it's plugged in firmly. And then, with the other end, you're going to want to take that end and plug it into the back of your Xbox. And it just snaps into place there. So, now you have your Ethernet wire connected to the back of your modem, like so. And into your Xbox 360. And now, go ahead and uh, turn on my TV and turn on my Xbox there. Go ahead and grab a controller. Alright, so, if you're doing this for the first time, then what you're going to want to do is Go to the Xbox Guide. You want to go to System Settings. You're going to want to go to Network Settings. And then you're going to want to go to Test Xbox Live Connection. And down here, it will test it for you. Okay, we got the network connected, the internet connected, you can see there. And Xbox Live is connected, and if all goes as planned, you should get a message up here saying Xbox Live is up and running. So, you're A-OK -okay to go. 
then you can go ahead and back out and go ahead and sign in. There's my little avatar guy. And let's see if it works. Alright, so uh, there's my avatar and uh, now me and him will both be saying see you later. Alright, thanks for watching.